one is a calculation here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation so let's get going problem solve cos qx into dy by dx plus y cos x equals to sin x solution given differential equation cos qx into dy by dx plus y cos x equals to sin x. So, we can make this equation to a linear equation in y form. That is the standard form of linear equation in y by making this coefficient of dy by dx to 1. Okay, we know that the standard form of Linear equation in y is given by or is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q. So, this is a standard form of linear equation whose quotient of dy by dx is 1, right? So, we will make the quotient of dy by dx to 1 simply either by dividing. Consider as equation 1. Either by dividing equation 1 by cos qx or by multiplying 1 with 1 by cos cube x okay so let's multiply the given equation with 1 by cos cube x one by cos cube x times cos cube x into dy by dx plus y cos x equals to sin x or simply you can write directly dy by dx plus y cos x by cos qx equals to sin x by cos qx. Okay? Or you can just follow the procedure. Then the equation becomes first term simply first term into 1 by cos cube x is cos cube x into dy by dx by cos cube x plus second term this into second term is y cos x by cos cube x equals to sin x by cos cube x. So here cos cube x gets cancelled, then we'll get dy by dx plus y into here 1 cos x gets cancelled. So this becomes y by cos square x equals to you can just write this as sin x by split cos cube x as cos square cos x into cos square x. Then, dy by dx plus, we can just put this as 1 by cos square x into y equals to, again, split this as sin x by cos x into 1 by cos square x. Since we know that, Reciprocal of cos theta equals to secant theta. Q square on both sides will get reciprocal of cos square theta equals to secant square theta. And also we have identity sin x by cos x equals to tan x, right? Or 
sin theta by cos theta equals to tan theta. Then this equation becomes dy by dx plus reciprocal of cos square x can be written as secant square x into y equals to sin x by cos x is tan x into reciprocal of cos square x is secant square x which is in or which is linear in y which is linear in y right which is linear in y fine now by comparing these two equations we'll get p and q where so now we have the quotient of dy by dx is 1. That is, we have reduced a given equation to standard form of linear equation, right? Where p equals to secant square x and q equals to tan x into secant square x. Fine. Now, we need to find the integrating factor to the given equation, right? You know that the integrating factor, integrating factor, if equals to e power integral p dx, that is integrating factor of the linear equation in y is given by e power integral p dx. Now we'll find the integrating factor to the given equation. Integrating factor if equals to e power integral p dx this equals to e power integral for p equals to secant square x into dx and we know that secant integral secant square x dx is tan x so here our integrating factor is e power tan x right integrating factor is e power tan x now we'll find the general solution to the given equation we know that the general solution of the general solution of linear equation in y, linear equation y is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Now using this formula, we'll find the general solution to the given equation. Okay, the general solution To the given equation. Here we need to consider the standard form of the given equation. Is y into integrating factor e power tan x equals to integral q for q equals to tan x into secant square x into integrating factor e power tan x into dx plus c. This equals to we know that okay let t equals to tan x or let tan x equals to t let tan x equals to t now differentiate on both sides with respect to x then you'll get d by dx so tan x equals to d by dx of t you know that derivative of tan x is secant square x equals to dt by dx. Derivative of t with respect to x. Now bring this dx to LHS. You get secant square x into dx equals to dt. Now it's easy to replace secant square x into dx by dt and this tan x by t. Okay. Before replacing the terms. What we'll do is we'll simply write the integrand as tan x into e power tan x into secant x, sorry, secant square x into dx plus c. This is equals to now we need to put, put tan x equals to t and secant square x into dx equals to dt. Then this becomes t into e power t, replace secant square x dx by dt plus c. Okay. Now you need to evaluate integral t e power t dt. We'll use eyelid rule to 
choose the first function and second function since a comes first algebraic comes first so t will be our first function and exponential comes next so e power t will be our second function okay so now we can use either by parts or bernoulli's to evaluate this integral okay but here we'll use bernoulli's you can also use integral by parts but i use bernoulli's integral u dv equals to uv minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 minus u triple dash v3 plus so on okay so let u equals to t and the remaining be dv dv equals to e power t into dt now find the derivative of u u dash equals to derivative of t with respect to t is 1 u double dash derivative of a constant with respect to t is 0 since u double dash is 0 we will negate all the terms from here now we need to find v and v1 by integrating this we will get v integral dv equals to integral e power t into dt then you'll get v equals to integral e power t dt is e power t now let's find v1 v1 is integral of v that is integral e power t into dt which is equals to e power t so here we'll get u into v minus v sorry u dash into v1 okay so this equals to u v that is integral u into dv equals to u v t into e power t minus 1 into v1 e power t okay plus this integral constant c so now we have y into y into e power tan x equals to t e power t minus 1 into e power t is e power t plus integral constant c right now we can take e power t common from these two terms and you will get e power t times t minus 1 plus c since t equals to tan x now we can replace t by tan x this equals to e power tan x times tan x minus 1 plus c right so which is the required general solution so this completes the problem we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video hope you'll understand we'll see in the next video until then bye bye